Welcome back to the Just the AR platform. Today we're going to take a look at how to measure the length of your AR barrels. So let's say you've, you know, acquired some AR barrels, you want to do a build, you want to replace a barrel because it's worn out, and you want to make sure that you are in compliance to your uh, local or uh, countries or international standards. This is one way to figure it out. So whether you measure barrel on an item just to make sure it's in compliance or before you actually build, um, you know, this is a couple of ways to measure it. So you will need some measuring tools. The most ideal one is a long enough rod, whether it even be a cleaning rod, a wooden dowel perhaps even would be uh ideal if it's long enough so it will not leave any scratches possibly in your barrel whether it be plastic wood uh brass in this case this is a rubber lined cleaning rod for extra you know protection against leaving scratches on your barrel that type of thing um you will need a bolt face because that is officially in some countries what they measure against whether uh you know for the barrel length where the chamber uh length begins to the actual physical end of the barrel so whether or not you pin and weld an extension to make a fixed um extend the length of your barrel you know that you know make sure that is in compliance with your local regulations as well this does vary a lot so be warned ahead of time this is just a general guidance on you know just basically how to measure things so what i have here are two examples of two barrels they have not been mounted to anything they were actually in the process of being processed as you can see here as i rotate this you can see some obvious differences this one has not had a gas block installed it does have you know obvious the gas uh hole there but there uh if you rotate 180 there's no uh marks or you know material removal for any uh pin or detent um, um, or material removal for uh, additional stability. This one has had that work done to it. So you can see here two detents as well as a cross pin cut to stabilize that. Both these, uh, let's see if these are very well marked. So these I believe are both ballistic advantage just for your reference, 5.56, you can see the logos there, and uh, one some twist, and the material markings there. These were acquired several years ago. Um, I just happen to have a stag arms bolt, very standard, not too bad, you know, staked right there on the gas key. Pretty nice material, standard machining. So let's go ahead and try to measure these. So I'm going to remove protective caps off of these. So let's pretend that I don't remember how long these actually are. So you can either mount these into a spare receiver, which I also just happen to have. So let's actually do that. There's a couple ways to do it. So we'll show this. I've just mounted that into here. We are going to now insert the cleaning rod. That's going to be a reference point. Again, you can use almost anything that can fit down there. Preferably something that will not damage the surface of your barrel. Obviously, your barrel is a very tough steel material. So anything that is non-steel with a lesser hardness brass cardboard plastic is not going to damage your barrel but as you can see you do need a bolt in here fixed in the chamber otherwise your cleaning rod is not going to have anything to surface against so thus we're going to enter this into here 
probably I should put a charging handle into there beforehand so to facilitate removing this hang on one second okay we just have the standard radiant into there so now I have the make sure <sighs> bolt carry group all the way farthest forward therefore the bolt head has rotated into the chamber assembly. We have a full length that we can measure against. So I'm going to put my finger here against the muzzle end of the barrel, pull the rod out, and compare that against to a standard measuring stick. So you can see here we actually have enough for legal compliance where i am 16 inches and a little bit more so see here with this ballistic advantage barrel we do have 16 and a little bit more on here since this is the same as this one i am not going to uh, measure this other one now notice interestingly enough because of the bolt engagement notice that i cannot pull the barrel out so we did really have full boat face against the length of the full barrel there to measure it just to make sure so pulling some of this junk out right now let's go take a look at some other known examples so this is a way of measuring say you have parts let's say you have something that you already have and you just want to make sure that something you've acquired something in your collection is within compliance because sometimes you do you do change some setups and well you should know what you have but let's say you switched an upper and you don't know so here we have the same bolt loaded into this particular assembly. And we want to make sure we're compliant, even with this can set up here. We want to insert all the way. I have my finger up against the full length. We're going up against here. Let's see what we got. And again, you can see here we are beyond the 16 inch length. So we're good on this platform. Now let's go for something really longer, just to be sure. This is an AR-10 setup. I already know this barrel is way beyond length. Just to make sure, make sure we're clear. You see there, again. We got the both face seated. We're gonna insert the cleaning rod. This is 30 caliber, so we have plenty of clearance. Of course, we probably should remove the muzzle cap. I'm trying to do this through the camera, so it was not readily apparent. Okay, got my finger right up against here. Nice firm grip. Pull it out and get this out of shot. And against the measuring item here, as you can see, this one is over 20 inches. This is a this is a big boy here. Not 24, not 22, but it is 20. So we didn't cheap out and get the 18. So, well, we did with the extension. Yeah. So we got a 20 inch length here. This is really 18. So that is another thing to account for. Make sure that you, if you're going to account for this length, it has to be pinned and welded depending on your locality, or they're going to measure, um, depending on your local LE establishment, right up against here where your barrel actually ends. It will wrench this right off your item. Just be warned. But taking a quick look at measuring some barrels how to do it make sure you're measuring against the bolt face 
you know, to make sure uh, you have the proper chamber length because just uh, measure, ghost measuring it in the air this way is not adequate. You are going to need a bolt face in there. Now, whether or not you try to do it without an actual receiver, I would not recommend that because you want to be actually very precise in it. But there are ways as well, because obviously, whether or not the barrel is in a receiver or not, if you want to take the chance to interface it that way, because that is the farthest the bolt can travel in there. But legally, this should be in position in the receiver with the pr proper the barrel location to ensure that that bolt face is seated fully in the chamber, you know, and measuring it this way just to see whether or not we lucked out this time. Again, there's no guarantee this is the correct way. But let's see what this came up with because this, again, is not going to hold up. But this, this also did measure above 16. So... Again, highly recommend you actually use a receiver to measure against the boat face and proceed from there. This has been another kind of show and tell video. Feel free to check out the show and tell videos on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as a selection of book review, media reviews. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you next time.